Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro, whatever you want to call it, it's starting to get exciting. And uh, the more the more we see it, the more things start to pop up. Because I've been analyzing all the photos and videos have been that have been released, all the leaks. I think the uh, the release date is coming soon. You can feel it it's in the air. Things are starting to get exciting, and uh, when something like this comes up, uh, we know that uh, it's fairly new. It's fairly uh, soon as far as the uh, when when this should be released. Anyways, I started analyzing. This still unofficial because we don't know uh, the photos and the videos of the redesign of the Mini 3, so-called Mini 3 Pro. Uh, the I just want to run some things that I've um, I was able to like kind of unveil uh, and just kind of analyze and speculate possibilities where this drone is heading towards. And I think um, this particular redesign of the Mini series will revolutionize the, the drone industry once again. Uh, similar to how the the Mavic Pro did during that uh, era when the Phantom it was everybody had the Phantom and then all of a sudden the mini the Mavic Pro came out and changed the uh, the drone industry so why why is the the mini 3 Pro going to do that well let's ju let's just start off with some of the basic things that kind of you could see it on the photos and the and the video let me put the video up uh first off you could see that in the camera uh the photo here on the left you could see some indication on the on the by the lens next to the lens on the left side of the camera so we can we can definitely see it's going to be a bigger sensor uh and we're we're going to be looking at something around the f1.7 so more light will be absorbed which will lead to a better low lighting situation which gets closer to a mavic 3 hazelblad and when it comes to low lighting uh on a mini 3 will be a huge thing so that's one uh another thing by analyzing the front is the gimbal system has changed so i'm gonna show you the uh let me show you i have the mini 3t here too mini 2 so we could see this is the current version of the drone that's going to be uh redesigned so we're looking at this drone and that version on the screen, redesigned. And we could see that the gimbal system is completely redesigned. This only had a two access gimbal. And here we're looking at a three access gimbal, similar to the Mavic 2 gimbal system. But what could possibly be added to this uh, gimbal system and specifically on the camera is a uh, 90 degree rotation of the camera giving us back the vertical shooting style mode which we all loved in the uh, Mavic Pro, the original Mavic Pro that camera was able to rotate vertically um, 90 degrees 
into a vertical position and that opened up an entire door of vertical images. It was so addicting shooting vertical that uh, nobody wanted to shoot in landscape anymore. Until the Mavic 2 Pro came out and they took that away and everybody, no, that was a storm of complaints. What happened to the vertical rotation? Okay. So maybe they're bringing it back here in the Mini 3. Perhaps. It would be nice. I would like to be able to rotate the camera again. You know, with the the whole uh, iPhone, you know, phone, vertical phone, it just became natural to shoot videos in, in vertical. So we'll see if that is a thing, becomes a reality. The um, the sensors, right? The sensors we see it at the we see them at the bottom. So this this drone uh, doesn't have any front sensors. It doesn't have any. Although it has like two little eyes up here, it does, there's no sensors. It's just air vents. Um, there's no sensors on the top. Where's the no sensors? On the, there's no no sensors on the on the back. There's, a, there's only landing sensors on the bottom, and th and that's it. With this new one, we're looking at a omnidirectional sensor system, obstacle avoidance, and we can clearly see on the bottom sensors. We can clearly see on the front the weird front sensors, obnoxious pop in your face eyeball sensors a lot of people call this a the frog mini or the mini frog and uh let me see if there's another image here there's the bottom sensors and by analyzing the top a lot of people didn't notice this but the two circles we see up top here they're not for screws or or anything like this it's uh it could be a connected component that would utilize the front sensors alongside with back sensors. So the front sensors we see here are also producing a back sensoring obstacle avoidance system on the back. So that's redesign, very smart of, of DJI to do because this drone is still labeled as a 249 gram weight drone, which needs to be uh, true to that uh, as the 249 was the big selling point for the Mini. So they have to add things, but also keep it at a 249 weight gram level, right? So you add, but subtract. So this is very smart to do a front and back component that would uh, be able to avoid obstacles and not uh, risk the, uh, any more weight or anything like this. Now, to finalize this and to pinpoint the revolutionary discovery here from the uh, mini three is not the cam is not the sensors and it's not the the body actually it is part of the body but it's the front it's what they did here with the front which made everybody think this is fake and that it's uh it's a uh, you know somebody 3d printed it or made a joke uh but if you really look into this front design of the camera and the sensors and the whole front face of the, the drone, you can uh, start to understand that this is done for a reason. And the reason is that we are looking at a revolutionary filming style that will probably be the, it's going to be the, that kind of moment where people are going to be like, oh, okay, that's what it is. And that's when 
everything starts blossoming and you start thinking of new things. And that thing is, it's the ability to film at a top 90 degree angle. So it would essentially let the drone, the camera, rotate all the way up and be able to film looking straight up. And that's why they kind of carved, as you can see here, here on the top, they they kind of designed this to, they, intro, they pushed it in, they pushed the design inwards, let the sensor stick out, and it opens up a door, it opens up a viewing um, section on the drone where the camera can now face straight up, whereas before, you could see here, it's all covered up. So there's the camera, and if I tried to rotate the drone up, it doesn't go all the way up because even if it tried to go all the way up, you're only going to see, you're going to just be filming the top little chin face here of the drone pointless doesn't make any sense but in this design it makes complete sense that we could be looking at a uh, a new filming style so that opens up a whole new door of possibilities and uh and that's very exciting i think that's very very exciting i think this will uh will jaw drop people into um, into producing new things with uh, the DJI drones. And, um, and I said it before, and I'll say it again, that the mini, th the mini series, the mini three will be the new king of drones in 2022. It will be, it will take over the Mavic series as the Mavic series was the king. But now it's the Mini. It's small, it's light, and it's revolutionary. The Mini 3. Let's see what happens. I could be wrong. I mean, this is all speculations. But, um... We'll find out.